jump on. Oh, it's the final. Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Well, right, so basically I've just continued the damn war. Alright, off we go. What the? Oh, I think so. Oh, they're using their own against them. Look, they're trying to point to give someone else. <laughs> Goodbye. And he's making up. <laughs> Uh, you, you know you gotta love some of the comedy in this. You've gotta love it. Anyhow, let's move on to the next damn area. Right. Here we go. Right, I think that's all in this area, so we're gonna jump and move around to the next area. Keep going up, going up. Come on, up we go, up we go. Huh, surprised I missed one. Scorch is our next destination. Yep, Scorch. So what's this one all about? Hmm? Kids? I don't like the looks of this. Is this Hansel and Gretel? Typical. Kids couldn't help with a sweet tooth, could he? That was a lot. Woo! Didn't mean to go down. Well. Yeah, back off, camel boy. Hmm. Can't break through doors. This requires a bit of punch. Um, this way. Okay, what's the score? My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle, but Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel, and we can complete our super secret spy mission. Why am I not convinced you're not telling the truth, Greta? So Hansel and Gretel, huh? <laughs> Great. You know what that means? Trouble for me. Here we go. Raise the flag. Open the door. So basically you'll move once it's clear. Nice try. Right, um... You know something? Oh, I was gonna do something first, but... escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch him. But they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts! Can you mm -hmm. help me out? Great. Sure. Just charge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Yep. Just to make sure they don't hit you on the, the bonds. Where are you going? Yep, 
Let's knock the monkey off the tree. <laughs> Just to make sure he's gonna get hit. Back off, you damn monkey. There we go. Where's the next one? I'll get to what I was about to say in a minute. Let's concentrate on getting rid of this first, and I'll get back to the bit I was about to talk about. Free monkeys. Which way are you gonna go? Now we're not talking about the free, free wise monkeys here. Here. In you go. What? Ow. Looks like you could use another try at Great. <sighs> that was cheap. Bloody monkey. There we go. Hit this one so he can't do any for a little while. There. That actually came off off Hunter's tail for a little while. Right, I know where the last three are, but I'm gonna knock. There we go. Ow. And the last one. He can't do anything because I knocked him on his butt. So he's out of commission. There we go. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Please take this. One of the monkeys had it. I can believe that actually. Right, as I was about to say before we had to do that little quest, some of you might not be aware, but some of our main like fairy tale stories are quite gruesome, you know. No, no, I am serious. Even Disney films are not what they seem. They're quite gruesome. Uh, to put an example, look, I mean, they were done by the Brothers Grimm, but you'll get what I'm going to say in a minute. You know the Little Mermaid, right? In the Disney, you know, flick, they go, the little mermaid gets her man and, you know, she lives happier after, right? Well, in the actual books, she doesn't, she actually dies. Because she said when she became human, she said that walking on two legs was like walking on glass. No, I'm serious. If you ever get the chance, guys, do look these up. It's quite disturbing how, you know, some of these fairy tales we've grown up and we've known... But when you actually look at that true history and true story, damn, it's like, four. That's as grim. It would never be aired in, aired in movies and television. You'd probably scar kids for life. In fact, some tales were used as cautionary tales. Like, I think Pinocchio was one. No, no, I'm serious. Pinocchio is not the happy thing turning the woman to a boy. It isn't. If you actually read the the actual original, you know, storytelling of it, it was actually a cautionary tale, and it was quite disturbing. I'm not kidding on this, guys. Check it out if you ever get the chance, because trust me, some of these tales like Cinderella, uh, Little Mermaid, and Pinocchio, whew, all I can say is, wow, you would never get away with it these days. You would never. They would never get it. You asshole! Oh. Hmm? What's this? I seen. If Disney ever showed the actual, you know, pl actual storytellings of these, um, shows. Sorry, these, um, fairy tales. Oh boy! You. I can guarantee to you this. It would never get aired. Trust me on this. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. Trust me. Heck, even Sleeping Beauty. That one is the most, you know, messed up I've ever heard. Trust me on this. 
it's so messed up I couldn't believe when I heard this one. And when I read it, it was like, wow, this is pure messed up. I know each story is now differently told nowadays, but if you read their actual like origins, like original content, Jesus. Makes you wonder half these people were they actually you know, drunk or were they just downright crazed? I'll leave that to your imagination. Um I don't see a rocket anywhere. Anyhow, there we go. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I mean, it's funny isn't it, how some stories they try to you know make kid friendly, but when you actually read their proper lore, proper storytelling, you realize how messed up it is, and it makes you wonder about some of the people that wrote it. Were you think were they messed up? I mean, like I said, Pinocchio originally was never meant to was not meant to be as it is, it was another version of a cautionary tale for something else. Same with the Little Mermaid, it was like, okay, it was like, you think she got the prince, she got her voice back, but no, she didn't. She ended up, well, I hate to say this, she ended up dying. A lot of people tend to use the Disney one as like the true story, but it's not. That's just the kiddie version to make it look good. Because like I said, if they actually did the proper version that was written, oh boy, it would never fly. We need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful, but the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you can knock the flag keeper down, you could bring the flag. My secret decoder ring says that this power up. Okay, three flags. Where is he? Oh, let's see the flag areas. Got him. So, you want that flag, eh, Dragon? Well, you can play at this bombing game. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I get it. So, bring it on, shorty. Yeah. Nice try. Try again. Dodged. Dodge. Yep. Now you gotta return it. Since you lost, you gotta play fair. What am I talking about? There are still two flags out there. Yes, yes, yes. I am going to get them. <sighs> you know you could have gone yourself, you lazy brat. Oh. I forgot I got this. Right in these bonds. Round two. Damn right. Hey, okay, let's go. Damn it. Oh yeah. Just trying to dodge all these bombs. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. Oh, now that was just cheating. That was cheating. Okay. <laughs> 